Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft, and this is Richard. So this is another episode on our van build. Um, playing around with a curtain system uh, in between the the front two seats and the rest of the van. Uh, I think it's fine. To whether or not Michelle thinks it's fine is the is the important part. So right now, this is what I've got. This is our front room curtains and a curtain rod, and we just run those across here, just like so. And I think this is going to be perfect. They're blackout curtains, so they will work. So we'll, we'll see how that is. But that's really got nothing to do with uh, the video I'm doing today. So <laughs> I don't, yeah. Anyway, the camp shower, I have thought about it, and it came to me, and this is how I think we could do it, and this is how I want to do it to start with. I'm going to test it, but I'm going to show you building it. So I have these two hula hoops I got from the Dollar Tree. I have a Dollar Tree mat, which isn't necessary, but I want to have the mat. I have two uh, Dollar Tree white shower curtains. They are opaque. They say this this one's double, and this one's a thinner one. So, and I have two shower curtain rings. The only other thing that I'm going to need for this to for the build, I'm going to use a hole punch because I am going to put a, a hoop on the bottom. So I'm going to have to put uh, holes and the rings on the bottom of the shower curtain as well. I do have two of these 5 gallon uh, Coleman solar showers. So once we get the build done, I'll show you exactly how I plan on uh, implementing this shower. And I'll get right back with you. Alright, so I got this shower curtain out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put these rings on this hoop. Very simple, just stick them on there, just like so. Alrighty, so uh, just to let you know that the Dollar Tree double shower curtain has one more hole than what the rings are. I'm sure that's the same same principle behind the uh, hot dog hot dog bun thing. Make you buy more hot dog buns. That sort of stuff. Anyway. And there we go. So this is shower curtain number one. On the top. Now I want to do the same thing on the bottom, but I think I'm going to show you how I'm going to have it set up right now. Alright, so take into consideration this is just idea number one. I'm sure that it will develop on the way through, but I do want to show you the shower because the general principle is uh, going to remain the same whether or not I leave it where it's at. Or whether I hang it in a tree or whatever so let's take a look at that real quick so here's my initial idea for the van and by the way I did realize that there was another ring so the rings equal out the amount of holes on the shower curtains by the way so it just loops around both of them just loop around this here and then I have it set in here underneath the cargo Thing to hold the hoop up and at the bottom I'm gonna I'm gonna put more holes on the bottom and make rings for those as well but I don't have that right now so basically I just come into the shower and then I'm here in the van I got my shower shut up 
I have my shower water up on top of the van sitting right here it'll sit up here it'll get warm and that will create the ability for it to flow down and it will just I can just use it as a shower so I can have privacy because I'm in the van but this is outside the van and then I can shower here I uh, just put this down on the ground so I have something to stand on and I can kind of indiscreetly shower without being pestered uh, along with can attach cordage to the top hoop and hang it from a tree and uh, it can encircle me and I can shower that way I'd also have to find a tree limb that I could uh, hang the, the water on as well but uh, as far as as far as I'm concerned this is a good start